Um, I guess if you're looking to get a Skype interview later this afternoon, um, what's today? Thursday? Yeah. Um, I'd be open to do it like after like 2 p.m. Hey, what's up? My name is Zach Menon. It is Thursday, March 22nd, and I've been looking for a job for 81 days now. Well, to my disbelief, the Chamberlain group actually called me back. I kind of figured after a week of not hearing back, I was just kind of off the mark. I wasn't really going to be moving on, and they weren't just getting back to me. But looks like I'm going to have a Skype interview with someone later on this afternoon. So hopefully that goes well. So by that question, you mean like just someone that was kind of hard to work with and because of how their performance was if, if it affected my performance and how did I do to like kind of overcome that is, is that kind of what you're asking? Uh, I mean I've had people that are difficult to work with so uh, I currently work at a pharmacy and I work at a high volume pharmacy that we deal with like 700 to 900 new prescriptions like um, Monday through Friday and then so we're dealing with a lot of prescriptions on a week-to-week -week basis and get a lot of customers and get a lot of rushes so with that and in customer service aspect, um, it gets it's normal for people to get stressed out over the situation with the amount of flowing in work that constantly happens. So um, not everyone deals with stress the same way as others. Some deal with it better than others. Some just overtly freak out, <laughs> so to speak. So um, at the pharmacy, there is um, a couple of individuals that kind of just overtly get overstressed out from the amount of work which is normal and sometimes it makes it more rigid to work with them and communicate with them just because they got too much going on so that does become difficult to work with at times if you need to communicate with them and things like that and pretty much how I have that not affect me in my workspace is just that I understand like why they're acting like that they just become over they, they they become stressed out from the amount of work that's going on. So when they are being more irritable or harder to communicate and work with, I know it's not just me in general, it's just them and that's how they're adapting to the environment. So when I recognize that happened, I just have to make myself more flexible in how I work with them and around them to make sure that things can get done correctly and properly. So if, it's, if I need to communicate and they're up that I just have to maybe ask more questions, ask ask in a different way, um, find, maybe wait a few seconds for them to clear their thoughts, ask them if they need help to finish a quick project that they're working on real quick, and that's what's really getting them worked up. Just small things like that can help alleviate the situation, kind of smooth things out when people are becoming overly stressed. Okay, so my camera died in the middle of that phone interview. I would say the interview went pretty well. I asked a closing question. What is like the ideal candidate you're looking for? What kind of background do you look for in an, in an ideal candidate? I want to say oversight, but I don't think that's the right word, but I just, the fact that I don't have much sales experience, other than that little fact, were there any other concerns with me moving forward into a role like that? And she said based on, you know, the notes taken by the other recruiter and my resume that I would be, you know, a good fit for their sales rotational development program they have. So yeah, this time around I looked into three different companies. I applied to IBM, WeWork, and Planet Interactive. I applied to be an account coordinator at Planet Interactive, community lead sales at WeWork, and a data management consultant for IBM. The role at IBM wanted someone with years of healthcare processing claims and has years of experience dealing with state insurances like Medicare and Medicaid. <laughs> And thankfully with my time at a pharmacy, I've done a bunch of billing of insurances and healthcare claims a lot already. I've dealt with Medicare, Medicaid, Ohio Medicaid. So I added that into my resume. Hopefully that stands out, at least gets me to a phone interview. For the WeWork position there, just want someone that can provide hospitality and also can thrive in sales to you know, sell their workspace because WeWork just sells a room to be used for an office, for meetings, for a workspace, for a studio. I think the WeWork idea is pretty cool in my opinion, but hopefully with 
my years in customer service and the account coordinator position with Planet Interactive, I kind of just came across that job browsing through LinkedIn, seeing related jobs pop up, and I'm just clicking positions. And there was just an easy apply button. I went and did the easy apply. I, I love it. Takes not even a minute to apply for a job. Several months in hospitality.